Hi guys, it's Avangel, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to do something very stupid. Yes, that's a 737. So I was looking for an aeroplane to fly and a place to fly to, and I was looking through my aircraft and my liveries, and I spotted an Alaska air cargo livery. I mean, it would be logical to go and do bush flying in a 737, wouldn't it? Yes. Well, this is PMDG's 737-700, not exactly a bush plane, but today we're going to try. We're flying from Talkeetna, Alaska, an airport far too small, to another airport far too small. Uh, we're going to Willow, Alaska, which has got 4,000 feet of gravel. This has 3,700 feet of asphalt, so with 35,000 pounds of cargo, it's quite building supplies or, I don't know, fish. We're flying down to Willow um, to try and land. That's our goal. Now, I still don't understand the FMC, and I just about understand how to actually program the computer in this aircraft, so when it decides it wants to load, we're going to give it a crack. I hope. So we're in cold and dark mode, which means I need to turn my power on. And I need to have my hydraulics on. That's the one thing I remembered from last time when I couldn't work it out. Uh, let's get fuel pumps all on. APU to start. If it wants to give me the right icon there. Does this have to be open? I'm pretty sure it needs to be open. There's always something that screws me when I'm trying to start this thing up. I'm never quite sure what it is. No, I don't want standby power. That's the wrong one. I want to start the APU. Okay, we've got APU coming alive. I'm pretty sure I hold one of these things down. Do I need to close the bus? There's always something being weird that I'm never quite sure about. And I will work it out one of these days. Checklist would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Yeah, it really would. But I'm not going to do that. That's not my speed. And all you jet guys are going to be hating on me for this one because... Oh, we had something happen. Something happened. We had something say something. Boom, we have power of some form or way or shape or form. I'm pretty sure. We don't have... We have instruments. Okay. We're, we're good. We're good. Alright, let's start an engine, shall we? I think I just about know how much to do that. So, that's at least a small benefit for us. These do function, don't they? Yes, they do function. I'll keep those idle. Or else I should be, in theory, Doodah should be going somewhere. Doodah's not going somewhere. Fuel pumps are all on. What did I not do correctly? Because there's usually... Ooh. Did we, did we get Doodah? We didn't get doodah. Nah, uh, do I need bleed air? AP bleed air on. Are you doing anything? Nudge, nudge. Oh, it's doing something. It's doing something. It's coming up. It's spinning up. Okay. <laughs> We've got something right here. I never know what the right number is to turn the fuel on at, but we're going to make a guess and just hope it works. So as soon as that hits about, mm, let's say five... Which is going to be wrong. I'm going to give it fuel. It seems to stick at about three, so... Sod it! Here's fuel. Make noises. Go brr. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's, it's caught. Okay, fantastic. So, let's go back to our overhead. That's there. Okay, that means number two is going to start coming alive. It is. Yes, we have success. I'm not entirely incompetent, as much as I think I am. Now, we're going to want to have airports on that map. Probably. Let's have some data. Probably pay us to turn more of these things on before I actually get to it. Okay, that's up at 3.2. That seems to be the good number. Give it some motion lotion and see what happens. It catches. Fantastic. 
So once that's settled out at about 20, I'm going to make sure I get everything configured properly here. We are going to set our auto brakes to maximum in case of rejected takeoff, which is entirely possible in this endeavor. <laughs> Many things are entirely possible in this endeavor. Okay, that's coming alive nicely. So I am going to turn off the APU. Okay, we're running on internal power. Excellent. APU is shutting down, I think. Okay. The, the aircraft's still working, so we did something right. Let's get out of here, shall we? Now, we should be able to taxi out here. Probably going to clobber that uh, little business jet, but we should be just... We'll go to the taxiway right here. Okay. Okay, parking brakes are off. It's a good start. Turn my head on. Talking to the traffic. Remember 403 CRX ray taxiing for departure. I forget what the runways are here at Talking. You know, I was planning to do this originally from Homer, but realised I had no idea how to actually use the... Uh... Wait, have I... Is this doing stupid things? Oh, yeah. I've got stuff hanging out. Go away. No. I don't want any of those things. Are we clear outside? We still have an air stair. <sighs> Go away. No, oh, wait. I had the thing right there. Go away. Remove the chocks. That's still an air stair. That's a problem. I don't want the air stairs. Sod off. How do I make them go away? Can I just move and they sod off? That's always a possibility. Could take off with them there. Well, it's letting me move, so... They must have gone away. We're going to pretend that's what happened. So let's set our flaps for takeoff. Let's try and taxi out on this very little narrow taxiway here. Uh, something tells me this is a bit big for Talkeetna. Uh, spin around there with a little bit of his toe braking. If we look outside, no air stare. We're great. Okay, so we did bugger off. Nicely done. Okay, flaps are 15 for takeoff. Yes. Is it 15 or 10? We'll, we'll err on the side of caution and go to flaps 10. Okay, here's our runway. And this is 19. Tucking the traffic, 403 CRX ray is departing runway 19 to the south. Okay. Not too much. We've not got a lot to play with here. And something tells me I'm going to want every inch of this runway. There we go. This is going to be really scuffy. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. Here goes nothing. <sighs> this is not going to be enough runway. Even slightly. That's a lot of trees coming right at me. Okay, we're clear. Whew, okay. 3,700 foot runway. Gear up. We're going up like a rocket ship. Woo! Flaps up. Alright, as this is an entirely VFR adventure, we're going to be keeping the river in sight. So that's it directly below us right now. So we'll stay along the river. 
And we should get Willow on our right hand side in about 15 minutes. Let's pull our power back here. <laughs> I'm going to stay low and slow in a 737 because I can. Alright, so is this working? Did I turn this on or off? I never know what it wants to do here. I, all these things make some sort of logical sense in terms of they have a function. What that is, I don't know. Ephis nav mode feed disagree. Well, that's fantastic. So we're guesstimating this thing. Oh god, that's that's the river. Okay, let's keep our speed down here. We don't need much more than this. There's a lot of yellow going on here. It's like it doesn't quite... I've not set something up properly. I'm pretty sure. I've got airspeed. I've got altitude. And uh, my Eve attitude indicator's not working. Something's not feeding information to my computer. And I don't know what that is. Well, for argument's sake, we're flying a crippled 737, which is plausible. At 200 knots above the Alaskan wilderness. And uh, we just about know where we're going based on memory. This can't go wrong even slightly. Yeah, no, uh, I should really know more about what I'm doing, but I don't. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba. I should probably turn some of these on, shouldn't I? Don't we need the logo light? No one really wants that. Oh, that's still set to that. Okay. <clears throat> we are good. So I have speed, and I have altitude, and I have the backup artificial horizon, which is going to tell me which direction I'm pointing in, which so does that big glass thing ahead of me. So let's try and guesstimate this thing, shall we? <laughs> Before we do something incredibly stupid. Now this is going to be a little quicker trip than I'm expecting, so we're going to try and accelerate my mental process for how long this will take. And hopefully have our target in sight when we do. Give it some trim, stabilise our position. Come on, bring the nose up. That's it. Take the pressure off my controls. Trim, please. Do something, my good God. This thing trims like a wallowing rhinoceros. Okay. This feels level. Ish. And it sounds like I've got a sewing machine going off next to my leg. And not having the autopilot engaged, because <laughs> that scares me too. I haven't got time to diagnose what my electronics problem is. Oh boy! This, 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 this is a great day. So we're crippled on our systems, because I'm an idiot, and we're flying to somewhere that probably can't sustain this aircraft. We just took off in under 3,700 feet, uh, and we're flying south in Alaska. It's about the best I know. And that's a cloud. 3,000 feet here. I wish I had some idea of where I was. I feel that would be beneficial to my filing abilities. Oh boy. I'm just going to have to quickly mentally separate my brain out right now. Well, so try and work out where the heck I am. Okay, so pulling up a map here so I can actually take a look at one of my other screen. Okay, so we're looking for a bit of river next to a bit of river. That's helpful. So south of Talkeetna you know, with the river kinks this way. We should put us near Sasitna North, I'm thinking. And from there we follow the three southbound towards Willow. 
Where's the highway? Is that the highway down there? That's looking like my highway. And this highway takes us straight through Willow. And Willow has the airport right next to it. Okay, bingo. So we find the road, we follow the road, and we're good. See, it's an IFR flight. You finally got me to do IFR. I follow roads. And rivers. And railroads. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is funny to me, but not anybody else, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so that is our highway. That is now our Bible. We follow this south, we find the airport. Which seems like entirely sound logic at 220 knots in an aircraft that's way too big and way too fast. But we should get there. Now there will be a lake beside the airport and beside the road. And we're in a cloud again. So I have to keep my eyes open here. So I believe we are still relatively north. What's that over there? Is a lake there? And is it what looks to be... That could be Willow ahead of us. Okay. That might be our airfield. Good distance from the main river. The lake's there. There looks to be a clearing next to the road, which is going to be our runway. That feels about right. We are going much faster than I'm used to, so that's to be expected. And I think that is, in fact, Willow. Okay. VFR navigation by landmarks in a 7-3. Why not, huh? That is Willow. Okay, we're on target. We found the airport. Now it's time to try and land. <laughs> oh. I'm in danger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am. Uh, that is our airfield. Yes, yeah, so I'm bringing a 737 into that. All right, let's power back here. And we're going to start our big circle around to bring them to land. Winds are relatively calm. I don't want to mess with anything crazy while I'm trying to do this. So there's the lake with the where the seaplane docks are. And just outside of the window, we've got the main runway. And a little bit to the right is the apron and parking areas. So we're going to be coming in from the south. So we're going to take it down past here and turn around and make our approach attempt. So as my airspeed comes down to about 200 knots, I'm going to drop my gear already because I want to be messing around with this stupid click spot. Right now. I'm pretty sure I'm meant to leave it in the middle once it's set, right? Three green. Okay. Gear extension is off. Do I leave it down or off? Oh, I don't know. I'm just going to leave it down. That makes more sense to me. Okay, let's give myself some flaps for lower speed performance. Airport is there. Okay. Control is going to be rather heavy. Come on, piggy. Pick your nose up. I'm going to have to guesstimate my speeds for approach based on uh, <laughs> having to work out what's going on. This is going to be interesting. I could already tell you that much. If we land, if we fail, you'll see it regardless. This stupid experiment seems like a really bright idea. I was originally going to fly from Homer up to Willow, but that required navigation. And I have no idea how that thing down there that looks like it's from the 1960s works. Okay, we're quite slow here, and the cloud ceiling is not exactly my friend. Let's bring her round. You've got to believe I had to bush fly in this thing at some point. I don't have eyes on the field. I don't think I have eyes on the field. This could be the complicated part here. I think that's it over to our... right over there. But I'm guessing. Some 
some speed in here. Yeah, that says over there. Okay, I'm... Oh, hello. Stabilize out for me, okay? Good airplane. It's eating my FPS right now. Not sure why that is, but it's going to make things much more interesting. As it appears to be coming back now. Oh boy, what am I doing? Flaps are set. This is not what we call a long stabilised final. I'm going to make an attempt. Or at least a... See again, there goes my FPS. Not sure why. Bank angle. Bank angle. We are off target to the right. Auto braking is to maximum, which we're going to need. Speed is pretty low here. And I am so off target. This is horrible. Why is my FPS tanking? Not the time, flight simulator, to be yourself. Okay. This feels okay. Apart from that 15 FPS junk. Why now? It's not exactly into Chicago O'Hare, is it? Why do you need to be special? Reverse thrust is ready. This feels fast. Oh god, high FPS. High FPS. The plane already doesn't like it. The plane doesn't agree. Oh, mama. Okay, that was actually really easy. Huh. <laughs> What was I even worried about? Let's take a look, actually. Okay, so we used half the runway. I I'm pretty happy with that. That's what we had left to mess with. Yeah, that's what we had left to mess with. And that's what we used. So we used just under half of a 4,000 foot gravel runway. Now, yeah. Realistically, I'd be using a lot less braking rather than standing on it. And I probably wouldn't be quite as aggressive on the reverse thrust there. In fact, did I even? No, I didn't use reverse thrust. So there you go. Now let's get Piggy to her parking spot. Yes, 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 yes. Beep at me. <laughs> I I'm going to call that a win. We departed in 3,700 feet and we landed in just under 2,000. Um, on gravel, first try with the world's least stabilized approach and a large dollop of oh, uh, psychopathic tendencies. But hey. Oh look, there's a hangar. That's totally big enough to fit this plane in. Hi little bush plane Cessna. Yes, I'm your big fat cousin. And that's a sign I don't want to hit. Yes, the editor comes through here. There we go. Too much power. I'm used to giving it a lot more throttle when I'm moving an aircraft than something this big. Okay, parking brake supplied. Now we can call this a win. Because, uh, yeah, this doesn't look appropriate, does it? <laughs> that little forklift truck operator is like, what the hell are you doing here? How dare you turn up at my airport in that monster? But we did. I think I want to learn more of this plane's systems just so I can take this place into stupid places. Like Lolka or, or Lukla or whatever it's meant to be pronounced. I don't know what I'm talking about. But it's actually kind of easy to fly. Huh. Thanks for watching. Bye.